fifteen dollars fifty to sixty dollars now there's been a myth for a very long time about skateboarding does abec matter if you guys don't know what abec is abec abec is the rating on the bearing that determines how fast the bearing can go it doesn't determine how fast the bearing can go but it is the rating on the bearing indicating how fast the actual bearings are what does abec actually mean now i've been skateboarding for 16 years and i have never looked up or even question what ABEC actually even means. Mostly because I don't ride, I've never really ridden bearings that have the word ABEC on them. Uh, mostly for, throughout my entire skateboard uh, career, I guess, if you will. I've skated Bones bearings, Bones Reds or Bones Switch. First off, before we get ahead of ourselves, let me tell you what ABEC means. ABEC stands for an Annual Bearing Engineers Committee and is the American method for rating the accuracy and tolerance rating of Bearing. ABEC standards are set by the American Bearings Manufacturer Association, ABMA. Well, bearings are used for all kinds of things, not just skateboard wheels. Okay, that's irrelevant. In this case, they're used for skateboard wheels, and that's it. Like I said, it is a rating, and what I have for you guys today, what I want to compare is, there's always been a myth, does it matter? Does ABEC matter? Does the kind of bearings you invest in really determine how fast you can go as long as you take care of your bearings? Now, obviously, if you buy, like, really crappy bearings from, like, Walmart, or any hardware store, bearings that aren't specifically made for skateboarding, but these two here, Bones Red and Bones Swiss. These are the two, I would say, not even the two I would say, because obviously there's newer brand bearings out there, Bronson, Bronson's a really big popular bearing brand right now, but for the most part, Bones Swiss and Bones Red's bearings have been the most popular skateboard bearings throughout skateboarding. Well, throughout at least, I guess, my generation of skateboarding. So the last the two or three decades or so. Okay, so I got this information from the Bones Bearings website. Now, this is not a sponsored video by Bones at all, whatsoever. I find this very interesting that Bones does not use an ABEC rating. They do not throw their bearings in any classification of ABEC whatsoever. They are not ABEC rated. They are skate rated as from their own words. The reason that being so is because the rating on ABEC bearings is done with precision and tolerance, and the higher the number of ABEC, the tighter the performance, precision, and tolerance. Basically, the highest rating ABEC bearing would run at about 200,000 RPMs, and, and skateboarding is mostly done at around 2,000 RPMs, most of skateboarding. Skateboarding doesn't really exceed 4,900 RPMs. Anyway, my point with that is, is that these bearings do not have an ABEC rating because they are skate rated and they are designed specifically for skateboarding within the speeds and RPMs of a skateboard. The Bones Reds are of a lower, let me put it this way, the Bones Swiss are supposed to be a higher performing bearing than the Red. You take care of them, these are supposed to be able to last longer. I won't be testing that today, frankly, because that would take maybe 30 days to test that. But what I am gonna be testing is pure speed. So I have, I'm in a parking garage, if you guys haven't noticed. There's a perfect hill right here, and I'm going to set a timer on my phone. I'm gonna use both bearings. I'm gonna put both bearings on my skateboard, and I'm going to time myself going from top of hill to bottom of hill, and we're gonna see which one gets to the bottom faster. If they both act the same, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna be completely honest in this review. Uh, these are just the facts that I know as of right now. Now, other than the Bones Super Swiss 6 bearings, these bearings, Bones Swiss and Bones Reds, um, these two have seven ball bearings in them. Bones makes a six ball component bearing, which is supposed to be able to take more impact and the curvature of the ball and the way they sit in the bearing is supposed to just be better for skateboarding. In what way, I don't really understand. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I just actually tried to call Bones and get the proper reason on why there are seven ball components in the bearings. Unfortunately, the call did not go through. I did not get a hold of them. But there are seven ball components in these bearings. Um, yeah, that's a fact. There you go, now you know. Okay, this is from Rock and Ron himself. The ABEC tolerance is all but insignificant in a skate application. The ABEC is the dimensional tolerance. 
But like I said, I just want to test out speed. Right now, these are both brand new in the package, fresh out of the package. We're going to put these in my board, and we're going to see which one is faster, or if they're even faster out of the package, or even if they're the same. I think mainly my guess for this is that the Bone Swiss are just going to last longer and maintain speed more than the Bones Reds. That's just my guess. I've never really done a comparison like this, although I have skated Bones Reds and Bones Swiss. I think the Reds are great. I think the Bones Swiss are great. I think there just might be longevity in these. Okay, let me show you the hill that we're gonna be riding down. Okay, so here, we're gonna ride down. We're gonna start all the way up there where those um, traffic sticks are, and we're gonna end right here. That's where I'm gonna stop the timer. Okay, now let's put these in my board. Let's test these bearings out to see how well they do. This has been a long myth if bearings actually matter for a very long time. I don't know if kids are still asking this question. I just know that when I was younger, uh, we always asked this question and we always debated about it. People were like, dude, Swiss are better. No, dude, reds are fine. You don't need Swiss. You don't need to spend the money. These are regularly $15 bearings. These are $50 to $60 bearings. Now I did forget to mention that both of these sets of bearings are lubricated with speed cream. I explained this in my last comparison video, but I don't have a skate tool because I always lose them. I don't seem to lose regular tools. That's why I'm using a wrench. So we're gonna test the reds first. Okay, and the reds are in. The reds are ready to go. Um, let's start at the top of this hill. Okay, so we're starting from all the way up there, and we're ending right at this line. I'm gonna time it and see just exactly how long it will take to get from top to bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna start the stopwatch as soon as I drop in. Okay, 6.76 seconds. All right, we're gonna do that again, but I have to change out the bearings. I'm gonna put in the Swiss now. And we're gonna do the exact same thing I just did. I'm actually very curious to see if this is gonna work. I don't think it's gonna make a difference at all whatsoever, although I am timing myself, so there might be a variable in there that might throw this experiment off and make this experiment not valid. I may press the button later than I did before when I did the reds or sooner, whatever. So I'm very curious to see how this is gonna work, but I think it's gonna come out to the exact same time or around the same time. The Swiss are a little faster. It's only gonna be like microseconds, milliseconds. Microseconds, that's not a term. Okay, um, I don't know how accurate this is, but this actually got like 0 .03 less than the Bones Red. So in terms of this speed experiment, the Bones Swiss are a little bit faster. Now that both of the bearings are not broken in at all whatsoever, so you do have to break in bearing. But right out of the box, the bones seem to be just a little bit faster. Not much faster, but a little faster. Like I said before, I think the emphasis on why these bearings are better is because they tend to last longer. They have more longevity than the bones red. I'm gonna do it one more time just to see if we can get a different number. All right, one more time for all the homies. And there's a homie right there, that's John. I know you can't see it because it's blurry, but that's John. It's a little later this time. I don't think this test is very accurate. If I had a timer that would go off, literally when my wheel hit that yellow line, because I might have hit it honestly a little late, I don't really know. But the first time I got faster, let's do it one more time. Three times, third time's a charm. Oh, 
Okay, so a little short, a little bit shorter this time, but still longer than the first time. Yeah, I don't know. If you're just looking for speed, I would say reds are probably fine if that's all you're looking for. But if you want longevity, maybe go with these bearings. There's a ton of information on the Skate One website that is the distribution company that does Bones bearings. So if you want to know any other information, just go on that website. I'll put it in the description below so you can check it out. Um, but the bearings both seem to operate according to speed around the same time. But what I think I'm going to get into now is I think I'm gonna go get a session in and actually skate these bearings. I'm gonna leave the Bone Swiss in and I'm gonna test them out. I mean, I know they're good, I've used them before, but I'm just gonna skate them and see how these fresh new bearings feel inside my skateboard. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Are they true? 